What is up, guys? It's T. Kyle here, and welcome to another weekend chat. It has been quite a while. I think it's almost three months since I have done a weekend chat. I have been stepping back and focusing on other things and have not been on YouTube, have not been posting these at all. But I'm here for a check-in today. Hello. How's everybody going Do and doing whatever? Um, I have no Dunkin' Donuts today because I already had coffee earlier, but whatever. Um, it feels weird being back on camera and recording this. It has been such a long time. I A lot has happened in the past three months. I am 24 and a half pounds lighter. I don't know if you can tell. Pose for the camera a little bit. And I'm getting back into the swings of things. And today I wanted to check in and just talk with you guys a little bit about what's been going on, how I've been feeling, what the deal is, you know, all of that fun stuff. So yeah, I um, was going to post a weekend chat last week and I recorded it, filmed it, recorded it, the whole thing imported all the footage into my computer and I had a complete meltdown. I just had this moment where I was watching back the footage and I was talking about my weight loss and the number that I had hit. And I just got overwhelmed by self doubt. And I had this like complete flip of my mood and I actually wound up deleting the entire thing. <laughs> I deleted all the footage. I deleted my memory card. I was like, I don't want to talk about this. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I genuinely don't know what happened. I deleted all the stuff off my Instagram story. Like I really just had this moment. I just shut down and I was trying to like, kind of figure out like what was going on with me, what happened, like what the hell was my issue. And I realized that I hit this point where I had lost 20 pounds and I could not, not like, what's the word? I could not accept my achievement, I guess. I was just doubting that achievement and looking at the number and was like, is that real? Did I really do it? Did I really do it? And I battled with that all week. And this morning I had this like moment of, I don't know what you would call it, but just... I came back into my confidence a little bit. I weighed in today, 24 and a half pounds lost. And I was like, okay, this isn't just a fluke way in. Like we're in it now. Like you did it. You've got this. You're going full speed ahead. You're on a roll. Hey, I'm a hoe. I'm on a roll. It happened. And so I got in from my walk this morning and I was like, okay, we're going to try this again. It's okay to have those fuck ups and those feelings of doubt, but you need to push through it and you need to get over it and you need to keep moving forward. And that's what I am doing today. So hopefully if you see this, if I actually post it, it means that I didn't have another bout of self doubt where I completely threw everything away. And that is why I am here today. Hello. I wanted to share that first because I feel like it's important to be transparent and real and be like, honest about the whole journey because it's really easy for me to just go on and be like, yes, like, cool. I'm, I did it this week. I did it this week. I did it this week and not show the real side of it where it's like, okay, I hit this goal. And then I completely felt like shit because I was self doubt. Is that called imposter syndrome? It's like, what's that thing that people are talking about lately where it's like, they don't feel like they deserve it. They don't feel like they've earned it. They don't feel like they have worked for it. That is what happened to me. And it is something that I've had happen throughout my whole life. And I just wanted to share that. Um, but I'm feeling a lot better today because I actually got some good sleep yesterday. Went on my walk. I came back and I was just feeling good. And I think pushing through it is the hardest part. But once you do, you feel so much better. So today is a new day. I am here. Hello. Hello. I've got my lights on. So I thought that I would talk with you guys a little bit about this journey because 
it did kind of happen out of nowhere. Um, it was more of an internal feeling with myself and how I was feeling about myself and my health and my body. And I wanted to share a little bit of that journey with you guys to kind of tell you like what happened and where I guess this is going and why I'm doing this, why now, why whatever. So this past spring, I was in a really bad headspace and it was sort of this flurry of a bunch of different things. I was gaining weight. I was completely burned out and I was hanging on by a thread. This is like, I'm talking like March into April. Brittany podcast was going full steam ahead every single week, like an hour and a half, two hour episodes. I was working seven days a week, night and day. Like I have not worked that hard in a really long time. And Brad can even tell you, like I literally would listen to every single episode five, six times. Like I put so much effort into that project and I'm so proud of it and I don't regret doing that. But the, what would it be called? The outcome of, or the negative side, I guess, to that was I completely disregarded my health and my sleep and my nutrition and my eating. And I was getting takeout every single night and and every single day, honestly, like to be completely honest, I was getting takeout in the morning, in the daytime, and then being up all night editing, getting chicken fingers, ordering from the diner, going to Dunkin' Donuts, like just completely convenient, takeout, horrible, whatever. And... I had a moment in the spring and I hadn't stepped on the scale in months because I was avoiding the whole thing. And I was like, holy shit, I am in the 190s again. And I just felt like shit. And I felt uncomfortable in my skin. I felt uncomfortable in my clothes. My clothes were not fitting me. I had to buy all these new clothes for this event that I went to. And I was like, what the fuck happened? Like, what happened? Because it had happened so slowly. It happened over the course of a year. And I made a call to my doctor and I was like, I need to have a moment where I come clean about something and I ask for help. And that's one of the hardest things for me to do. I hate asking for help. I'm a very independent person. I love doing things by myself. I love taking care of things myself. I love being by myself. Um, That's always been just how I am. And I made a call to my doctor because I wasn't feeling good. My body didn't feel right. My gut was telling me that something was off. I just didn't feel right. And it's really important to listen to your gut and your own body. Like if you don't feel good, if something doesn't feel right, go talk to someone, your doctor, whatever it is. It's very important. And I did that. And I went into my doctor and he's like, so what's going on? Like, you know, Cause I obviously wasn't like sick and coughing and like whatever. And I came clean to him. I said, listen, I was like, I'm here because I have a problem and I need help. And for me, my problem is stress eating. It has been a problem of mine, my entire adult life. And I just don't take care of myself. And my way of coping with stress is a very unhealthy one. And In that moment, I felt, well, like figuratively, but like figuratively and literally like a weight lifted off of me. And I'm probably going to feel that way when I share this, if I wind up sharing it, which I fully intend on doing. And I just felt like I had released an inner demon that has been bothering me for 15 something years, like all through college, all through my early 20s, all through my late 20s, all through last year, all through early this year, I confessed it. And my doctor was so compassionate and supportive and was like, absolutely, I can help you with this. Like, what's going on? Like, talk to me. And it made such a difference it just felt so good I like really can't even express in words like I felt like sitting in the chair I was just like (sighs) like it was a sigh of relief and it made me feel like I wasn't alone and that there wasn't something like completely wrong with me because that has been my inner demon for so long years decades literally 
And I have never had a problem with losing weight. Growing up, I used to be really active. Shocker. Um, I was a tennis player. I was a swimmer. I was a runner. Can you believe? Like, I used to run. Like, who does that? I used to go to a gym and, like, run on the treadmill and go on the elliptical and, like, have fun with it. Can you believe that? Like, I'm seriously used to enjoy working out. I used to love it. I mean, I grew up being a swimmer. I was a swim coach. I was a tennis coach. I was a lifeguard. One of my first jobs here in New York, I was a lifeguard at Chelsea Piers. I was like this little skinny twink and I used to swim and I used to run and I was in such good shape and I was super healthy and I'm not that way anymore. Um, No, we'll get there. But um, yeah, I used to be super active. So losing weight for me, was never a problem. I could always do it. I could always work out. I could always go for a walk, go for a run, get active again. It was always the other side of it that was my problem. So I have never had any issues losing weight. I have always done it healthy, scientific way, calories in, calories out, get your exercise in, eat right, carbs, protein, cut the carbs, eat more protein, get your vegetables in, et cetera, et cetera. My issue has always been gaining weight during stressful periods of my life and treating stress, treating depression with food. And I feel such a relief finally admitting that and finally coming clean about it because, again, I love to solve problems by myself. I got this. I got this. And I realized that I needed help. And so I asked for it. And uh, it feels so good. And it feels good to say that on here because it's just, again, it's like releasing it even further and getting it out there. And I look back on, God, the past 20 years, well, more like 15. And every single time I have hit this point where I am super heavy and I'm overweight for my body, for like my body composition, overweight, I know a lot of people like to have opinions and say this number and this number, but you are you. You are your own body. Some of us are big. Some of us are naturally muscular. Some of us are not. I have no muscle on my body. I am very thin-boned, chicken-legged, whatever the fuck you want to call me. That's what I am. So when I gain a lot of weight, it's not healthy for me. Every single period in my life that I've been through really high stress – My freshman year of college, freshman 50, literally, I was just under 200 pounds after I got done with my freshman year. After I graduated, you're thrown into the real world and I did not want to go home. I could not go home and I felt so much stress to work all the time and get out there and freelance and do all this stuff and um, I gained all this weight. Then in my first job, I gained a lot of weight because I didn't know what was going to happen. And so I was staying up all night and that's when I started reality TV gifts. So the beginning of reality TV gifts was kind of like a period of my life where I was trying to cope with this life change. It was a huge life change. You know, all my friends from college leaving and this, you know, oh my God, I have to pay for my own apartment and just, it was a lot and lost it again. Then I quit my job and I went freelance and I started my own little attempt at being my own free, not, I was going to say free spirit, not freelancer, but like my own, f- oh, what the hell, whatever, you know what I'm saying. And I was working here and I was working there and I was taking clients here and like just kind of running my own little trial business, gained a lot of weight, just under 200 pounds again, lost it all again. Then 2017, all know leading into the year was definitely a very um, weird time. Going into 2017, I had a death in the family. I had a funeral on Inauguration Day. That was one of the weirdest days of my entire life. Then I had another death in the family at the end of the year, and that's what triggered this whole spiral down into not taking care of myself. Last year, I kind of got myself out of it. I was like in the 180s and I just was reserved at like, okay, this is what I meant to be and it's it's never going to get where I want it to be. And I just kind of gave up and was like, this is what it is. Started Britney podcast and then 
through the new year into 2019, wasn't taking care of myself, wasn't eating right, wasn't healthy, et cetera, et cetera. And that's where we are today. But I have turned this around. I have made positive changes. I have been working with my doctor. I have gone to him. I have followed up. I had a six-week follow-up to make sure that nothing that I was doing was having any sort of negative effect on my composition, my blood work, you know, all the the tests that they do, your vitamin levels, all of that stuff, making sure that what I was doing was not having a negative effect on me. It was not. It was having a positive effect. And so I continued doing it and it is working for me. As of today, I have lost 24 and a half pounds. I started at 193.5. And this morning, I weighed in at 169.0. Yeah, I did it. I've done it. What I am doing is working for me, so I'm going to continue doing it. And what works for me may not work for you. So that was a whole mouthful ramble. Um, Still feels so weird being back on camera and being in front of my ring light. And I don't know, I just feel weird um, and kind of insecure a little bit. But it's all right. Um, What is working for me is working for me. So I don't really, I'm not asking for like feedback or opinions or like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of sharing. And maybe there's something you can take away from this that you might find helpful for you. Even if it's just like feeling inspired to go talk to your doctor and talk to him or her about whatever it is that you need to talk to him about. Like that to me is such a huge step because I skipped my my physical last year I was like I don't even want to deal with this like I don't care um and that has to change so and I also have another follow-up I even like made sure to be like hey like when do you want to see me next and he was like eight weeks I'm like great scheduled made the appointment it is in the books ready to go at the end of the year so that's one thing but what I have been doing is intermittent fasting And the reason why I'm doing that is because my work schedule is completely inconsistent. My work schedule is completely inconsistent. And I find that when you have a schedule that is inconsistent, it throws everything off. So before what I was doing, and you'll understand how this led to me gaining so much weight, I'd wake up and around like 10, 11 a.m., I would go to Dunkin' Donuts and I would eat breakfast and get coffee and the calorie count of what I was getting was probably like six seven hundred calories then around two or three I would have a little lunch then I would have a snack around like four or five when I got to work I would snack at work and then we would have dinner at 8 30 8 45 9 p.m at night you know we get dinner at work because of the hours we work and it's you know production whatever and free food so like just this open table of whatever so yeah I'll have five breadsticks and two orders of chicken parm or like three cheeseburgers because it's all on this table and there's no portion control and then sometimes I would get home at two three in the morning when I'm done with my shift and I'd be hungry and I'd have a snack again and then repeat so think of that in terms of calories and eating And it's way, 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 way too much. That's what I was doing. So with intermittent fasting, what I've been able to do is now the intermittent fasting is my routine schedule. I keep it the same every single day. I have strayed in and out here and there because I like I traveled to Boston this summer and I have allowed myself to go out a couple times. So I shift the hours every now and then. But I started out eating at 12 and then stopping at six. So I had like lunch at 12, dinner at six, and then I stopped. And then over time, I slowly narrowed that window shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. So now what I do is I have my breakfast, lunch, whatever you want to call it, at 12, and it's a keto lunch. So I have no carbs for lunch. And then I have my dinner at four, sometimes five, sometimes three, depends on the schedule for the day. But that's what I do. And then I don't eat from four until noon the next day. And that allows my body to tap into my fat stores. And 
lose weight. So it has really helped with my energy levels, my sleep, everything has just improved. And that's what's working for me. And I use an app called Zero. It's Zero Fasting. It's on the App Store. It's free. This is not sponsored. I just find it really helpful. And I think it's such a simple, easy tool to use. And it's free. And it just works on your iPhone. I don't, and I think it's on Android. And it has a widget even. So like you get it on your lock screen so you can see. I just love it. And then I've been using my scale, which is a, a Nokia. I believe it's Nokia. They were bought out by Nokia. Withing Body Scale Plus, maybe. I don't know. I will double check it. And then I'll link below in the YouTube description if you want to check it out. But basically, it's a Wi-Fi Bluetooth scale that um, just syncs to an app on your phone so you can track your progress. Again, not sponsored. It is just what I've been using that I find really helpful and consistent. So consistency has really been working for me as well. I feel vulnerable sharing this. I feel weird sharing this. I, um, it's, you know, it's just a moment. I feel like it's going to pass. I'm addressing it. I'm recognizing it for what it is. And I feel like that's the other thing too, I will say that has been so helpful in this process is like recognizing that you're going to have ups and you're going to have downs. And when you hit a down or you're having doubts or you're having this moment where you're like, fuck this, I'm a failure. Like it's not working, like whatever which I did have one of those. I'm not going to lie. It was about like two ish weeks ago. I had hit a mile. I had hit the 20 pound mark and I was like, I'm going to go out. I'm going to go to brunch and I'm going to go out all day. And I did. And I was having so much fun and I wound up getting a little drunk, which I hadn't in a really long time because I've been very good about eating and drinking and cutting all of that out. And I got home and I was just like, did I just, ruin all of my progress that I had made over the past few months, few weeks, whatever. And I got so down on myself and it took me like a few days to shake that off. And so I think what I'm doing now is I'm recognizing that like, it's okay to feel that way, but it's more important to get up the next day and keep at it because you're going to trip, you're going to fall, you're going to scrape your knees a couple times. Um, You can't let that stop you. And don't throw away all your progress just because of one day or one mistake or one thing that you did wrong. And I'm trying to apply that with like my whole entire life, (laughs) like everything with like just creative work and life decisions and choices and things that you say or like, you know, I don't know. I'm just an awkward person. And sometimes like I'll do something awkward or I'll get flustered or I'll stutter or like I feel like I fucked up. And I let it beat me up for so long, but I'm trying to like get rid of that. And that's all part of this process and all part of why I'm sharing this on here, because maybe it'll help someone. I know it helps me getting it out there and releasing it. It feels like a journal. Um, it feels like therapy. I've said that before. Like this is a good therapy for me as well as walking. I've been going to the park every single day and it's just oh, it's so nice. I, it's so quiet. I can power walk. I can strut. I can listen to my music. There's no cars. There's no one in my way. There's just like, it is so freeing and liberating by liberation on iTunes. And, um, yeah, that's my update for this week. I feel like I've said everything I wanted to say. Um, I just wanted to check in and say hi and be like, hello, I'm still here and I'm getting, ready for this fall. I have a new project coming in less than a month. Um, yeah, that I've been working on even before this whole thing happened, but, um, is part of this whole being healthy, being creative. And that's one of the other things too, is like this whole process and being healthier and feeling better about myself has had made me feel more confident and more helped my self esteem. And that, affects my creativity. And so I feel like I'm more creative when I feel better. I feel like I'm more creative when my self-esteem is higher and I just want to keep that going. And so I'm sharing that here and uh, yeah, um, it feels nice to be back and to feel good, better, um, not perfect, but better. And um, yeah, I appreciate like any supportive messages you guys have sent me. Some people have been 
really, 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 really sweet in their DMs and just nice, kind words. And so uh, thank you to those people. And um, what else do I have to say? I mean, oh, I forgot to say what I'm shaking my tits to this week. I mean, hello, weekend chat. I'm, you know, she's a little rusty girl. What am I shaking my tits to this week? I'm really loving the new Lana Del Rey album, which is not a tit shaker, but like, oh, it's so good. And I love Don't Call Me Angel, Power Walk Anthem. What else am I shaking my tits to this week? Like nonstop. I really do think it's Don't Call Me Angel. It's just such a good power walking anthem. I just can't stop power walking to it. Like the other day, I probably listened to it for an hour straight, power walking. So that's what I'm shaking my tits to this week. And um, what else am I supposed to do? I forget how to weekend chat. It's been so long. It's been like three months. I forget how to weekend chat. Oh, today we learned. What did we learn today? Today I know what I learned. And that is that it's okay to have doubts and to go through negative thoughts or whatever. But it's more important to like move past it, to recognize that like it's okay to feel that way. Forgive yourself for making a mistake or whatever it is that you feel like you did and move on. The next day is a new day. You can wake up and you can start over. And that's exactly like I literally did that today. I woke up this morning and I was like, today is a Friday. It is a new day. However you felt yesterday, erase it. We're going to go. We're going to put our new Nikes on, not sponsored. And we're going to go to the park and we're going to have a beautiful morning in this 70 degree weather here in New York. And that's exactly what I did. And it felt great. Oh, and like the leaves are changing color. And oh my God, I'm just, I'm such a basic bitch. I was like, oh my God, I want pumpkin spice coffee and listen to all the leaves rustling through the park. Oh, it's Fall is the best season. If you think otherwise, you are wrong. Um, but yeah, that's really all for this week. I'm rambling now. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know if I'll be back next week. I am gearing up for a new project launch. So... You will be seeing that very soon. It is also important for me to going into this to recognize that it was a problem, what the problems I had before were and not letting it happen again. And I feel like telling my doctor that this is coming up. So I want to have another check in with you to keep me accountable. And so I I keep it in the back of my mind, seeing it on my calendar, knowing that like, you got to keep ahead of this. He also gave me um, a bunch of resources to a couple places that, you know, I can go to talk therapy and like work with someone on, you know, just maintaining this and feeling good and just making sure that I don't slip up and ways to cope with my stress and all of that. So I am very aware And I actually feel, not that I feel grateful for like going through that like dark headspace that I went through in the spring, but I feel like I went through that and I came out of it and I recognized what the problems were and I fixed them. And now I'm going into this new fall season with new projects ahead of me, knowing exactly what I cannot do or what's going to make me fall off track. And so it's almost like I needed to go through that to get to where I'm going in a way. Not that I'm like glad that I gained 190, what I got to like 194 point, like whatever. But I'm, what I'm saying is that I'm aware of my problem that I have and aware of what I need to do to make sure it doesn't happen again. So that's that. (laughs) I am making it my mission for the end of this year to tackle my problem with stress eating. I have confessed it. It is out there. I feel like I have been hiding from it from forever. And it's been my biggest demon my whole adult life. That That is it. That and my insecurity about my speaking voice, I... I tackled that one. That one is gone. Like I have no hangups at all about my annoying ass nasally voice, which some people have messaged me and been like, your voice is so soothing. And I'm like, okay, work. Uh, But the way I got over that was I tackled it head on. I confronted it. I came on here and I said, listen, this is my biggest insecurity. And you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to 
get on here and I'm going to fight it and I'm going to power through it. And that's exactly what I did. So I'm doing the same thing. Why am I like, I'm like pointing and I'm like, yeah, you know what? Fuck that. Like I'm like getting like heated up. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Let me just take a, Oh, sorry. I was just getting like very, um, and I was getting passionate right there. That's exactly what I was doing. I found an insecurity. I knew what it was and I knew I wanted to get over it and I fought it and I overcame it. And that's what I'm going to do now with this and I'm not going to let it happen again and I'm on here to say that and let you guys know that it hasn't been the easiest road but it we're getting there we're moving forward and that's my um swan song we're moving forward I also too and I don't know if I I don't think I mentioned this before but I my biggest fear with this whole thing I guess and something that I went through last week when I brought the footage in was like someone saying to me, well, you're just going to gain all the weight back again. Like that inner, that inner saboteur saying to me, well, cool. You, you lost 20 pounds. You're just going to gain it, gain it back again. Like enjoy this while it lasts. Like that was my voice to like my own self to my own self beating myself up internally. Like that's that we all have that voice that is doubting and throwing it's like negativity at you and, oh, cool, you you finally achieved this. Well, it's not going to last long. Like, that's what I was fighting. And so I'm fighting back against that now. And I'm going to make sure that it doesn't happen again. I have I have goals. I'm not going to share them on here because I don't want, you know, that I, it's for me and, like, my journey. But when I hit the goal, I'll let you know, you know. But I have three goals. I have one that's a number that I want to hit. My second one is, like, where my doctor say says I should be at. So it's like my goal, my doctor's goal. And then the next one is a more long-term goal for next year is maintaining my weight throughout the entire year under a certain number, keeping it, you know, it's what will obviously fluctuate when I go back to a normal, a, a more normal eating routine and allow myself a little bit more freedom. But there is a number that I want to stay under and maintain it for a very long time. So that's my, those are my three goals. And that's that. Okay, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. If you made it this far, send me... What emoji could we do? I'm almost thinking like sending me the clown emoji because like I, I find all the memes with the clown emoji are so funny to me. But no, we're not going to do that. Um, just send me the little smiley face wearing the glasses, the sunglasses, if you made it this far. And if you... like, Just so you know, when I ask people to do that and they like actually send the emoji it makes me feel like so happy that it makes me feel like I am not just rambling and I don't know it, it's like it helps me defeat that like inner like oh my god no one's gonna care what I think no one like why would I'm I'm just rambling no one cares like blah 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 I don't know it's just it's very nice to see so that's the only reason why I do it and like I don't know maybe it's like me being what's the word I don't know I'm she's not a don't know the word for that. What I was saying either. Just if you made it this far, <laughs> send me the sunglass. Cool for the summer emoji. And I will see you guys very soon with a new announcement of my new project that is coming very soon. Um, I've been teasing it for a while. The teaser is not done. There's two teasers. Neither one are done. But everything else is done and ready, locked and ready to go. And um, I will... See you soon. Bye. It's Brittany, bitch. Shake your tits. Dunkin' Donuts.